Mm, metal. Normally I go peace, but today it's metal. Listening to my Sirius XM satellite radio, and I better turn this down before I get a copyright strike. So anyway, uh, I've been putting together, slowly together, a video about my bike build. It's a Mongoose Title Pro XXL, mostly stock. Uh, due to the cost of things these days with inflation and with a broken supply chain where a lot of companies just don't have supply right now, you know, the pickings are a little slim at the moment. But, you know, you can find gems here and there. And some brands that I've been pretty loyal to way back in the day that are still around just didn't have anything in stock for me. So I'm like, well, I gotta go to a plan two. And I went to Mongoose. And you know what? Mongoose is a good brand. Uh, they kind of got a little bit of a, a bit of a bad reputation because some of their stuff that's in Walmart. But they're really stepping up their game with regard to um, their Title Pro and Title Pro Elite bikes. Of course, they need to get an XXL because I am six foot. And I'm, so I need a little bit more uh, room. So as I've been putting it together here and there, as I've been acquiring things, I make a quick little video of it. And for the first time ever, this is going to be an edited video. Imagine that. I finally got a brand new laptop computer with actual video editing software. My previous computer was a Windows 8 machine and it sucked. <laughs> but I was like, okay, cool. So I take my, took my videos that I have accumulated on my phone and put them on the desktop and I've been like putting them together. It's going to be a little rough. I mean, it's not fancy. You get what you pay for which is free uh, and uh, you know hey it's gonna be good I think it's actually some effort is put into editing a video so uh, after this portion ends we'll go right into that but for now I'm looking at my sunburn that I got from the uh, Grand Prix BMX race in Paris California on Sunday it's two days ago I went to the Grand Prix BMX track for the state qualifiers, I believe it is. So I got there during their practice runs and then I st stayed around long enough for the first round of motos to, to go through. Took some video, it's on a previ my previous video that I posted. Again, a little, a little choppy. What I did is I took my camera, I film a little bit, then I pause it, and then I hit record again, then pause it. So that was my initial version of editing, not really editing at all. But yeah, I got a little sunburn and it was well worth it as far as I'm concerned. It really inspired me. I really took the spark and cranked it up a few notches in the BTUs. And uh, so the flame I had, the kindling of the flame for BMX I had has been stoked by going to this race. It's one thing watching a race on YouTube, it's another being there in person. And like I've said before, this is the first time I've been to a BMX track since 1985. I mean, 1985 marks the last time I actually raced. And since then, you know, life got into the way. You know, I just, you know, I didn't mean to stop racing. I didn't mean to stop, you know, going to BMX tracks and all that. It's just that you get married, you go to school, you have kids, you get a full-time job with lots and lots of overtime and crazy hours. You know, all these things happen and it completely distracts you from like, basically the loves of your life, you know, the things that brought you passion. And one of the things that brought me passion, other than the band Kiss <laughs> and Black Sabbath was BMX. So, you know, long story short, you know, I got I got back into the into the groove of things in terms of becoming aware of BMX back in late January, early February. Well, I had was well, I had COVID and I had nothing to do, so I watched YouTube videos and then I stumbled across a live stream of the Sooner Nationals, uh, USA BMX sanctioned race in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm like, whoa, this is cool! And so I went down the rabbit hole of BMX, and here I am. I thought, ah, I think I can do this because I saw these dudes that are as old as I am and older racing. And I got something to say about that, probably in another video. I'm like, look, well, I can do that. I can probably do that. And so silly me, here I am. I'm decide I'm going to pull the trigger on a BMX bike. It took me a couple weeks to figure out the bike I not only wanted, but could afford and which was actually available too. So there's a little bit of compromise involved in that, but I'm relatively happy with what I got. And now that I'm customizing it, it's going to be make me even happier. 
And so with that out of the way, I'm going to uh, go ahead and cut off to the rest of the video. Peace out, bye. Okay, today I get to put together my Mongoose Tile Pro XXL. So it's still in the box, I've had it for two months now. And I have a few parts I'm gonna to use to upgrade. Okay, time to start cutting and unpacking. It's nice, but come on, man, mongoose chain guard. Is this some sort of like federal requirement that nice bikes come with? chain guards come on okay mostly unwrapped still got a fork but the logos the art on there is nice it's real nice still really hung up about the chain guard though and the uh, reflectors but so far so good looks pretty freaking cool man not a big fan of the quick release clamps though, but eh. So with a lot of recommendations, I decided to go with a Truth Chromoly bar. I've heard a lot of good things about Truth BMX. The only issue, the only issue is the knurling. It just doesn't seem as robust as the Mongoose knurling. So Truth, if you're watching this, eh. If you can make your knurling a little bit more gnarly, that'd be great. Other than that, it looks fantastic. Time to get rid of the chain guard. Thank God. Removing reflectors since 1973. All right, everybody, here's the semi-finished product. It's a Mongoose Title Pro XXL, mostly stock but I have gone ahead and replaced a few of the components to begin with. First off was the pedals. Eh, color coordinated. Go figure. Um, I went and swapped out the, the high 10 steel handlebars for chromoly bars manufactured by Truth. It's a small African-American owned business based in Maryland. So I figured why not support a small business? ODI grips course oh and I forgot <laughs> the brake lever the stock brake lever broke before I could even use it so I figured well it's a perfect opportunity to put new brakes on so that's what I did so I ordered Tektro now mind you the brakes aren't fully adjusted yet because I put on some chain tensioners color coordinated again and my wife says I don't know how to dress myself <laughs> I still have some of the labels on here. Rear, okay. You know, the uh, left. Eh, you know, whatever. I'll take them off soon. So I'm thinking, what else am I going to swap out on this? You know, money's tight with inflation. Supply chains are running short right now. They are broken. So it's like, ugh. Some of the things I really want aren't available. But one thing I do want, and is relatively affordable... And is available apparently are new forks now these are high tin steel forks they'll probably do me for a while but you know they're a little on the heavy side and I like something a little bit more pro so I'm right now I'm looking at forks made by Supercross BMX they're in Apple Valley California it's about a 60 mile drive from where I live I figure eh, it'll be a nice little drive up to the high desert so I'm probably gonna do that beyond that I don't know. I'm thinking maybe the wheel sets, perhaps. But that's not like really high on my list of priorities at the moment. Partly because, again, the cost of everything is becoming astronomical and your uh, pickings for what you want is a little on the limited side. But for now, that's going to do me. I think it's a good bike. It'll, it'll withstand a few races, hopefully more than just a few, but it'll do me for now. So that's the update on the bike.